Does this mean... You betcha. I want to buy that ship of yours. I get it now. You're just another one of them. Huh? You only want it because you heard the rumors, right? That my vessel is the last work of my master, a legendary shipwright. Sorry to disappoint you, but it wasn't my master who designed this ship. It was me. Uh, your point? I'm trying to tell you that it's worthless, unsaleable, just the brainchild of a mere disciple. Everyone I've told that to has, to date, immediately stomped off in a huff. Well, I don't much care who designed your ship, ma'am. Truth is, I fell in love the second I saw it. Even though she's incomplete? You're no shipwright. You've got no reason to appreciate her. <laughs> you got me dead to rights. I couldn't tell stem from stern. But I know a deal when I smell it. And my merchant's intuition is hollering at me to buy, buy, buy. You're willing to gamble that much money on a mere hunch? When I was just a chickadee, I practiced my appraisal skills by watching silversmiths day in and day out. I learned how to recognize well-maintained tools despite the patina of wear and tear. How to see the calluses on artisans' hands is proof of their dedication and talent. I can see the same spirit and skill in you, ma'am. You're a first-class artisan, or my name ain't Particio. That's why I'm sure that any tub you make is gonna turn out sensational. You're the first person who's ever complimented these shop-worn hands of mine. Well, they say a true masterwork is imbued with the spirit, a voice. Can you hear it now? I'm raring to gallop across the ocean waves faster than a frisky stallion. That's what your vessels shout. So please, sell me this fine ship of yours. No, I already told you, it isn't for sale. Oh, shucks. Not yet, anyway. Mind waiting until I've made it something worth selling? Huh? From here on out, I'm going to work like a woman possessed to finish this ship. It'll take some time, of course. Will you wait for me? You bet your hat I will. Then it's settled. I'll use this money to buy the materials I need and hire a team of skilled shipwrights to assist me. I never thought I'd see the day I could finally set out to complete her. My master praised me for the first time when I showed him the blueprints I drew up for this ship. He told me, now I can finally retire with my head held high. He must have cared deeply for you. Building this was the final major job he set out to do. But he collapsed soon after we finished the hull. After that, our financiers scattered like a swarm of little spiders. They mumbled platitudes, like the futurist steamships, as they went. 
The truth is, they didn't think a mere apprentice's ships would sell. My master's other apprentices started slipping away soon too, one after the other. It was ridiculous, infuriating. Soon, I just gave up making ships altogether. Well, once people get a whiff of this beauty, the investors will stampede back here like a herd of cattle. I hope so. But even if they don't, I'll keep on practicing my craft. There are people out there who will appreciate me and my works for what they are. Like you, Particio. Now then, all that's left is to give her hull a fresh coat of paint and sew a sigil into her sails. Any particular requests? What you want? Oh, that's perfect. There, she's all finished. Oh, she's even more beautiful than I dreamed she'd be. She's yours now, Particio. Go on, give her a name. A name, huh? Let me see. Got it! From this day forward, I dub her the Grand Terry. Wh it, it, what? She may be my ship, but she's... That's why I gave her your name, Terry. Here's hoping she's the first of many of her kind. Huh. This is a first for me. I'm not really sure what to say. Go and cast off already, you rogue. Let her see the world. You got it. 